Hi guys, my name is Omri from AI Academy and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make those ads that typically cost thousands of dollars and take weeks to make just using AI and we'll make them in a couple minutes today. So recently I've seen this trend where companies will take their product and make a video of it, but the product itself will look absurdly huge and in a random location where it just doesn't make sense. So first things first, we want to take a picture of our product and as you can see here, I have a picture of my prime bottle. Make sure all the text is very visible so it keeps things as accurate as possible so once we have the image of our product what we want to do next is go on to chat gpt everybody knows chat gpt 20 dollars a month for the basic plan you don't need anything more than that you can also do it with the free plan because it lets you do at least one free image generation so first thing we want to do once we have our image is paste it into here chat gpt and for this purpose we'll do the beach one first so we'll do put this bottle on a beach make it absurdly large and the point of view should be from a drone we'll press send and get back an image of this bottle on a beach so after you did that you want to move on to mid journey so click the link in our description and open up mid journey so mid journey is a platform that lets you generate images as well and they just had their new video v1 update as you can see the video v1 is kind of crazy you can have different special effects you can create different screens for your live streams and there's a ton more use cases for mid journey video so it's worth subscribing to it so in order to use mid journey you do need a subscription but it is very cheap it is only ten dollars a month for the basic one you don't need more than this i only have the thirty dollar a month one because i'm making a ton of videos about this so i'm a heavy user but for this video and for generating the ads that we're looking to do the basic plan is just enough and with a basic plan you get 200 images general commercial terms optional credit top-ups three concurrent fast image jobs one concurrent fast video job and you get to use the editor on images so this is all you need if you are trying to do a ton of work with it then go to the $30 a month. But even with this one, unless you're like spamming all the generations, you're probably not going to hit the limit very fast. And for the $30 a month, you get a lot more time. So I don't even think that there's a purpose for these pro plans or mega plans for $120. But the basic plan is just enough. And the standard plan is just enough to top up if you need a little bit of extra stuff. And after we've subscribed to mid journey, we want to go to the create page. And once we hit the create page, we'll be greeted with our our previous work and then we'll have our prompt input box right here and we'll have our image input box right here and our settings input box so for this video what we want to do is press add images and then we'll add the file of the image that we just generated with chat gpt and then what we want to do is take this image and drag it up here to where it says starting frame and it says animate image so we want to do right here just drag it up there and it should pop up right here once it pops up right here you'll know that you did it correctly and now we also have have this setting page now there's a ton of different options for settings especially for image generation for video generation it's a bit less but let me explain them real quick so there's mode motion and speed for the mode basically they're standard and raw standard just kind of lets mid journey be a little bit more creative with the generation but raw helps it maintain everything in the image and make things look super realistic for motion there's two options so there's low and high so low motion means just very subtle gentle motion so if I just animated an image of myself and I said hand gesture with low motion, it will look something like this. And if I said hand gestures with high motion, it will look something like this. So more sporadic, more energetic. But for the purposes of this video, we'll be using low and raw because we want to maintain it. And then the speed of the generation is defaulted to be fast with the higher plans. You can choose relaxed, but we don't need to worry about that right now. So what we want to do now is give it instructions for mid journey. You have to give very simple instructions and and it will understand it. So instead of asking it the same way I asked ChatGPT, like, please put this bottle on a beach and have it do this and drone will be flying around, whatever. It's very simple. We can just say panning drone shot and then press send. There we go. I like this one, but there's a little bit of a difference with the details. So I'm going to just try again and see what we get. And the thing with AI is it's just trial and error. Once you have a good version of what you like, you can kind of just run it again. So what we want to do is mid journey has has this little extra useful thing right here that's if you hover over a text of a prompt that you submitted you could just press use text and it automatically shoots up here we can upload the image again and then ultra realistic details should maintain exact details and we'll run this generation again and see what we get there we go this one looks a lot better this one also looks really good as well as this one cool so what we want to do now is take this we'll download this video and then what we want to do is open up our editing 
editing software, I'll be using CapCut. And now in order to make this a little bit more realistic, we do have this huge bottle on the beach and it looks pretty real. But since we're on the beach, what we want to do is add a little bit of sound effects and this will make the video completely different. Perfect. There we go. Now we have our beach sound effect and then I'm going to be open it up and play the video. It looks pretty real. We can also add a bit of birds chirping in the background. We'll do seagulls. Oh, I like the sound effect better. So let's delete this one and add this sound effect right here. We'll cut it at the end. There we go. We have a realistic looking huge bottle of Prime on the beach. So Prime Marketing can use this and post it on their social media, run it as an ad. There's a ton of use cases of what they could do with this, but typically it would take an animator to do this a super long time and it would cost Prime a lot of money. And we just did it with AI for literally a couple bucks. And let's move on to our air balloon example. Make this Prime bottle into a hot air balloon. Maintain all the details exactly as they are. We'll do flying to make sure it's up in the air and add the word huge. So it adds a little bit more size to it. And we'll try again with the generation and see what we get. Oh, cool. Now we have a little bit better of a hot air balloon from what I see, but it is a little bit too close up. So we can just copy, zoom out the picture a little bit. So the whole thing is in frame. We'll generate it again with ChatGPT. And there we go. Finally, we have a good image of the air balloon. I really like this one. So we'll save it. And then same thing. What we want to do is go back to mid journey, add our image and then add our image to the starting frame. And what we want to do is we'll just say floating gently. And the reason why I'm doing a very simple prompt is because you can actually just submit this with no prompt and it will come up with an animation for it. But I want to do a very simple one to see what it does. And then we can adjust from there. So what we want to do is press send. What we want to do is just wait for it to generate now. And there we go. We have our generated video of the prime hot air balloon. So let's pick whichever one we like the best. So once you open the videos, you could actually scroll up or down and it'll switch the videos here on the right side. Something about here looks weird. This one looks fine. This one looks good. Let's choose this one. What I want to do now is download this here. And once we download the video, do the same thing and open it in your editing software. Again, I'm using CapCut, super simple. It's free. And once we have the video downloaded, what we want to do is add a sound effect. And these sound effects make or break the video because without sound effects, it's like, what are you even looking at? It looks a lot more fake without a sound effect. So what we want to do is go to audio and then we'll add a sound effect, hot air balloon. So for the purpose of this hot air balloon video, we'll add a wind sound because when you're on a hot air balloon, you just hear wind. So there we go. Now we have a flying hot air balloon prime. But yeah, let's do a real quick overview on what we did. So what we first did was take a picture of our product, then go into ChatGPT and generate an image. And if we don't like the image, make sure we iterate on it until we have one that we finally like. And then what we want to do is go to mid journey, add it right here, then drag it to the starting frame, add our prompt and make sure that these settings that I went over earlier in the video are correct, then press send. And then after we press send, we get the generated videos. Then what we want to do is choose the one that we like the most, move it over to our editing software, add a sound effect. And there we go. That's all we have to do. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like if you want to see more AI tutorials, more in depth. We do other stuff as well as automations on AI. We go over how to use the most new models that come out. And yeah, if you want to keep up, make sure you subscribe and comment down below what you want to see next. I will see you in the next video.